Hey everyone, it's Liz Parrish at BioViva, and today we're going to talk about the epigenetic clock. So the epigenome, essentially, if we break down the word, epi means above, and genome, well, if you don't know what that means, I want you to follow one of our links below and uh, learn about the human genome and why you would do genetic testing and then why you would do genetic counseling. So epigenome, epi means above, again, and what that essentially is, is I want you to think about your cells like this. Every one of your cells has the same genes in it the exact same genes, the genes that you got from your mom and your dad that make up you, and those genes code for proteins. But the difference in your cells and the reason your pancreas is different than your nose and your nose is different than your toes is because of epigenetics. Different cells in your body know how to essentially be different things because of the genes that are turned on in those cells. If a cell uh, produces a protein that, that makes a growth hormone or if that cell produces a protein that makes something like ins insulin, the difference is in the epigenome. So what does this mean about an epigenetic clock? Well, it just turns out that over time, through biological aging, your epigenome changes in your cells as well. There's something called the Horvath clock, and if you haven't looked into Steve Horvath's work, definitely do so. It should be linked below. Um, send me a message if it's not. It's actually a quite fantastical tool to actually analyze uh, your epigenetic uh, age. And so through methylation, things change in your cells over time. So there's something called chronological age, and that's how old you are today in the sense of how many years you've been on this planet, how many times around the sun have happened since you were born. But the epigenetic clock is looking at your biological age. And we know now that people actually biologically age at different rates. It might be because of a genetic predisposition. It might be because of the things that they eat, the exercise they do not partake in or partake in, and a myriad of other things like the microbiome and, and various other omics. And if you, haven't, you want to learn more about omics, again, there should be a link below to learn about that different omics, different uh, parts of, of, of your physical body that actually change the rate of aging. We're excited about this epigenetic clock and right now we're selling a test at BioViva that, that deals with the epigenetic clock and we want you to participate in that. We want you to participate in uh, this learning process about you. Uh, how old you are based on your epigenetic clock. And so we hope that you're gonna participate in that and be part of that. We use that data to help create uh, innovative therapies in the gene therapy realm that will reverse the effects of biological aging. And so your activism, your participation, and your sharing information helps that all happen. Now that you know about your epigenetic clock and, your, and how that relates to your biological age, we hope that you will get involved in learning more, taking the test, participating in technologies that might reverse that biological aging, and then taking that test again and seeing how well we've actually performed. Thanks for listening. Please share, like, and follow, and uh, follow the links to the website. We look forward to another video for you. I look forward to your genetic future.